Hi, everyone. Well, I just did a story on a channel that people were charged nearly $100,000 at dinner. And, um, of course, it was a mistake. An ID number was entered. But I have a story about a charge that people had to pay that wasn't a mistake. So I was on a cruise once and I was enjoying dinner in one of the specialty restaurants. I'm not going to say the cruise line or anything like that. Um, but just, it's one of the higher end dining options on a cruise ship. And I was sitting beside this couple who I guess were celebrating like their anniversary or something, some kind of celebration. And they, uh, the wine guy comes over, um, the sommelier and he you know shows them a bunch of wines and he he looks at the menu and everything now on this particular menu it didn't have prices beside the wine it just had you know little dollar signs um and the highest the dollar signs went up was four and on some of them it had four and a little plus mark beside it meaning it was a very rare, expensive wine. Well, I guess they were celebrating their anniversary and that, and, uh, you know, they, they wanted to have a really nice glass of wine. It's a very, very special occasion. And they ordered this bottle of wine. And I, I heard the sommelier say, um, are you sure, sir? Are you sure that's the one you want? And he goes, yes, absolutely. That sounds great. And the sommelier went away. And they brought the wine, they enjoyed their dinner and everything like that. And the, the wife steps up to go to the powder room to freshen up after dinner and the bill comes. And I, I remember clearly sitting there. Um, for some reason, I was looking over in that direction. And... The look on the guy's face just like was in shock. He couldn't believe what he was reading. <laughs> and I had the opportunity um, after this was all over to talk to him a little bit. So what it was was dinner cost around $130. Not unusual for two people in a specialty restaurant in some restaurants. Not, not unusual at all. But the wine he had chose was $8,900, $8,900. And he called the sommelier over and he asked and said, is this a mistake? Is it supposed to be $89? And he goes, no, sir, that, that's the price of that wine. And the guy didn't make a fuss or anything like that. And I remember when his wife sat down at the table, I could hear him say, we're in trouble. Now, I talked to him like after the dinner and everything, and he was going to go down to customer service and try and straighten this out. Here's the problem is that they drunk the wine, they ordered the wine, the sommelier asked him if that was the wine he wanted. They got the wine, and now they found out the actual price. So that's a warning I want to give to people out there that there are some very rare and expensive wines on some cruise ships. I know on Cunard, you can get some really expensive bottles of wine. On some of those luxury, like Seven Seas, you can get some really, really expensive bottles of wine. And I know a lot of people are immediately going to say, well, the sommelier should have told him how much that should have been, how much that money, how much that wine was right away. Here's the problem. 
the they don't the price he's not supposed to be telling everyone how much each glass is and how much he, you know unless he they're asked how much everything is for one thing second of all now can you imagine you're a millionaire and you order this bottle of wine and the sommelier looks at you and and kind of says sir are you sure you can afford that bottle of wine you would probably freak out <laughs> if you were a multimillionaire or even just somebody who knows how much that wine is and is buying that wine and what you don't think i can afford it you think you know etc you know it's it's kind of like a balancing act they have to do that's why now a lot of the cruise lines have gone to show you the dollar signs beside the bottle of wines to keep away from this exact mistake but there are still some lines out there who don't put prices on all their wine and some of them still use symbols so i just wanted to give a little bit of a heads up after reading that other story i think i've talked about this on the main channel once before a couple years back and I just, you know, you, you, you got to be on your toes, folks. <laughs> you just do. I never got a chance afterwards to talk to the gentleman if he got any resolutions at customer service or anything like that. But again, it's not really their fault at that point. Uh, Will, I don't know. I don't know. But that bottle of wine was, you know, three times more expensive than their entire cruise for that bottle of wine. Now he did jokingly say afterwards to me that it was a darn good bottle of wine. <laughs> but I don't know if it was $8,900 bottle of good wine. 